Here we go. After the game, I'm here with Mark. Hello, mate. Good, mate. Yourself? Mate, we're just a team that can play well all the time. We play consistent footy. Obviously, we had moments today where the Gold Coast Suns got in there, but what did you think today? Oh, look, I mean, we started off pretty well. Um, I'm sure um, we were trying to break the game open from the second to even a bit from the third. We got it to a 43-point lead, and you thought at one stage we were going to blow this by 10, 15 goals like the good old Carlton, but then they got within three goals, which uh, was a little bit frustrating. But Did um, you ever think we were going to lose the game? or No, I actually felt comfortable uh, for once, and it's been a while. But, uh, uh, look, I mean... 17 points was probably the closest they did get in the last, but we were able to then grind through, and Kennedy basically with four snags today was the catalyst for today. Yeah, and we speak about Kennedy, so he's a guy that he's, he was a little bit maligned, we didn't know what his position was, we thought he was a little, you know, dirty with the footy. He's found himself a little spot as a half forward who can push into the midfield. Is that where we're going to be playing him for the future? Is that where you want to see him? Look, I mean, it's early days, but I think it's good for him that um, he's been able to hit the scoreboard because if you're not going to get much of the ball, you might as well put it on the, in front of the goals. Um, and basically, that was it for him. Yeah. Who else, mate? Who else Who else did you like today? Any, any individuals you want to sort of acknowledge? Liam Jones again. I mean, not just his intercept work, but the way he's been able to hold that back line. He does some courageous things as well that you probably think that it's Jonathan Brown-like. Uh, Mark Murphy just feels like he's been rejuvenated. Murph, again. we love Mark Murphy. He's been rejuvenated again. It's like he's 24-25. And Harry McCoy, you know what? He could have had himself more than a handful today, but he, he got a couple. He was able to set up a few as well, but not just that. The way he actually impacted each contest, which actually brought it to ground, opened guys like Gibbons, Lang, Setterfield, and the rest of our smalls to uh, try and break the game open. Mate, I'm, I'm up and about. Next week is a grand final type game for us. It'll be our biggest game of the season for obvious reasons. How do you go? How do you feel about going into there? Well, look, I mean, we've just come off two wins in a row and Adelaide obviously have, have been shell-shocked after their performance on Friday night. Do they feel defeated? Well, look, they may a little, so it's an opportunity that we can really um, end their hopes and basically keep, uh, this winning ray, keep this winning way going. See you on Sunday night for the old uh, one-hour podcast. Oh, absolutely. We can make it two hours or whatever if you want. Good on you, mate. Cheers. Go the Blues!